Hey, my most amazing art students. So I know we're all virtual this week, and so I decided that we're gonna do a snowflake lesson, and I'm going to actually film several different videos about how to make different snowflakes. The first one, you're gonna need some supplies, and you might not have them at your house, so your parents might have to go out and get them or do a Walmart pickup, but you're going to need lunch bags. They can be brown, they can be white. They even sell really cool ones like at Hobby Lobby and Michaels sometimes that have like pretty designs on them. But you're gonna need these because we are going to make a gigantic snowflake. Isn't that just the coolest? You could do a ton of these and hang these in your house, right? So I am gonna get all my supplies ready and we'll see you back there in just a minute. All right, Bye. chickadees, you're going to need lunch bags scissors and glue. Now you can use hot glue. If you use hot glue, it goes much faster. Obviously why? Hot glue dries quicker. If you use white glue, you might need to be a little bit more delicate and let it dry for a little bit. You're going to need seven lunch bags, right? So one, two, well, three, four, five, six, and numero seven. Now this is the easy part, boys and girls. We're going to glue these bad boys together. So you're gonna take this first lunch bag and you're going to draw with your glue a T. So you're gonna go up to the top, everybody find this flap, and you're going to do a little bit of white glue across the top and white glue down the bottom. Bingo. Take the next, next lunch bag and stick it right on the toppy, just like that. You're gonna do it again. A T, right? There we go. And do it again, right? And you're gonna do this until you're out of what? Yes, sans lunch bags, right? We're gonna keep doing this. So this is pretty simple. Once you have your lunch bags and your glue, oops, I forgot the long part of the tea. Your mom and dad really don't need to help you with this because you guys are professionals, whoops, with the glue. And you can see mine slid a little bit, so you can't be too angry and aggressive with it. With it. And if you notice, uh, I am doing the same direction every single time. So you wanna make sure, and look guys, I'm making them really even. You don't want them sloppy, right? You wanna kinda almost see or not see that there are more lunch bags underneath, right? We wanna stack them right one on top of each other, just like that. Now we have a nice, neat stack of lunch bags. Now you're gonna let that dry and it just depends. Like I said, if you use hot glue, it's dry like that. If you use white glue, you're gonna need to be a little bit more delicate with it, all right? So let's let it dry and come back and I'll show you the next step. You wanna go ahead and go get your skizzers. All right, guys, so we've let this dry. Now, if you're the kind of artist that just wants to go for it and start cutting, you can. If you're the kind of artist that wants to make sure they like their design or get an idea, now we're making a snowflake. So, and we also have seven bags stacked on top of each other. This is not going to be an easy cut job. So for that reason, I would keep your design super and easy and simple and kind of big. When you go small and you cut small, it's very hard to cut. So I'm gonna use my Sharpie first to kind of help you guys out. So I always kind of start down here at the bottom. We don't wanna cut up here at the fold at the top. We're gonna stick to the bottom for right now. And the easiest way to do a snowflake and the simplest is just draw or cut, whoops, and you can see it does not have to be pretty, Lord help. I'm gonna draw a triangle at the bottom, right? And then I'm actually gonna draw two diagonal lines off to the sides, just like that, okay? So then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut on my lines where I drew, just like that. And then I'm gonna cut right there. Now, if you go off your lines a little bit, it doesn't matter. Right? So, oh, and see what I did there? Oh my, I made a terrible mistake. That's okay. Maybe we just go with it, right? Cut that out. Oh, that is a funk. Okay, so that is not a triangle, right? If you can see that, but who? It does not matter. It does not 
make a difference. Who cares, right? This is an abstract. So then if you wanted to add some to the sides, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go here. We're going to try this and see what happens. I'm going to turn it to the side. Now, if your glue's not dry, like I said, you need to be very careful, very delicate with him. And we're going to turn to this side. Now, once you get the hang of this, you might be like, oh yeah, I'm going to chop this guy up, do all kinds of fun things. But if this is new to you, you might want to keep it super, super easy. I think those little pieces might drive your parents crazy. So we have cut one, two, three triangles and then two off to the side. You don't have to do that, right? You could even go like this. I did two, two little babies. You can see it's so much easier to do triangles because they're, they're just two straight lines, right? All right, so once we do that, we're gonna start to put it together. So everybody cut their designs out of their lunch bags. Remember, I stayed away from here for right now. We're just gonna focus on the sides and the bottom. So everybody go do that and then come back with me and we'll put right, it together. So I think I'm gonna have to do it this way so that you can see the snowflake. So here's our lunch bags, right? I did some extra triangles just for funsies, but then you're gonna very carefully open this guy up and put the two lunch bags together that aren't glued together like this. And I like to look at it first before I do any gluing. And it's not easy, but look at that amazing, gigantic, you can't even see my head, gigantic snowflake. Is that not the coolest, right? So what you'll do at this point, this is where I like hot glue because you're gonna have to fight that white glue, right? But you would just take your white glue just like this, and you do another T, right? So if you don't have hot glue, you would do another T. Now you can't obviously go all the way down. And I might add a little extra just because this is kind of import important. You don't want it to fall apart. So see how I added a little extra glue? I'm gonna grab that one, grab the other one on the other side, and I'm gonna make them smoochy. Right now, you see how I have to hold it together. So if you have white glue, you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to be patient and put your prayer hands together, right? Oh, maybe your parents will like this because your hands will be super busy. Ha ha ha! Right? And I can see I put some glue where I probably shouldn't, but that's okay. White glue dries clear, right? So I've got my hands holding it together. You might have to sit like this for a couple minutes. But look at that awesome, cool snowflake. I even saw somebody that used to go to school here, um, their mom and dad, and maybe they did too, they did this this weekend and did a whole entire garland of these things. Uh, they did white bags and brown bags, and oh man, it was so cool. I like to hang these from the ceiling, and your whole room could be decorated in gigantic snowflakes. Isn't that great? So guys, Go out, have your mom and dad pick up some lunch bags or uh, place an order, or maybe you've got lunch bags or go to Michael's and get some, right? And this would be a fun little activity to decorate your house with, all right? I'll see you soon. And don't forget, I'm gonna do more lessons on some more snowflakes. So easier ones, maybe with paper and stuff like that. So stay tuned, watch the YouTube channel and you'll get more snowflakes. See you later guys, bye.